I recently launched my dropshipping e-commerce brand Rinkas and managed to generate over $4,000 in the first few days of launching. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five product ideas that you can use to start your very own dropshipping e-commerce brand. So let's get straight into it. In order to find all of the products that I will be sharing with you in this video, I have used a product research tool called Mine A, and this is a super powerful tool that allows you to go and filter through hundreds of thousands of Facebook ads, TikTok ads, and Pinterest ads. And it's the only product research tool that will allow you to go and search through Pinterest ads. And not only this, you can also go and search through thousands of influencer shout outs and thousands of other Shopify stores to go and generate product ideas ideas for your very own dropshipping e-commerce brand. So we'll leave a link in the description to Mine A. You can start for completely free to start generating product ideas. And if you do want to use some of the extra tools that I've mentioned, you can always upgrade your plan from just 49 euros per month. So like I say, I will leave a link in the description. So let's get straight into looking at the first product that I think you could start your very own dropshipping e-commerce brand around. So the first product that I think you could start a great dropshipping e-commerce brand around is men's shapewear and shapewear is essentially a product that allows you to go and hide the more unflattering parts of your body now this has been more popular with females over the past couple of years but now it's becoming more popular with males so if we go and actually have a look at this particular ad that i found using mine a's facebook ad spy tool and you can go and see that it's a super simple ad you can see it's just a product that allows men to go and hide their like i say more unflattering parts of their body and make them look like they're a little bit more in shape so this is a really amazing product solves a really amazing problem for people that are a little bit insecure about their bodies and they want to look a bit more confident and feel a bit more confident in themselves and i think that it's not super saturated at the moment now what you can do with mine a's tool is once you actually click on the ad you can go and click on search on aliexpress to go and find the product that they're selling so if we just go and click on this then we can go and click on search these images and it's actually going to go and analyze all of the images and find the product on AliExpress. So let's just give it a few moments. So now we can see we've got the basically the exact product that they're selling. So if we go and click on this, we can go and see how much the product costs on AliExpress. So we can th see £3.51. And then if we go and add on the shipping, that's going to be four or five. So just call it £7. And that's around sort of $10. So that's fairly cheap. And if we go and actually have a look at the store, you can see that they're selling for $69. So they're making a massive over $50 markup on this product. And if we actually have a go, have a look at this store, you can see all they sell is shapewear. So they're essentially a one product store. They have multiple different products, but they're focusing on just one product, which is, which is shapewear for men. But they've rebranded it as core wear to make it sound a little bit more masculine. So we're going to have a look at their homepage. It's really well branded, super amazing one product store with a really clean design. And like I say, if we're going to have a look at their products, they've got boxes, crew necks, v -necks. So only got a few different products and you could easily go and start a drop shipping e-commerce brand just like this you can see they've just got some custom content to make it look super clean and like i say they're selling it for a massive markup now if we actually go and have a look at the ad itself you can see it's performed really well over 3,000 likes over 2,000 comments 900 shares of course it's mo mostly targeted towards the male gender most may perhaps some females as well for people that want to purchase it for their husbands for their boyfriends and things like that if we're going to have a look at the countries at the moment they're mostly targeting brazil and you can see that they're targeting multiple different age ranges now you can see that the ad has been running since april this year all the way up until now august this year so it's been pretty popular for the last couple of months now what you actually can do with mine a's tool as well you can go and have a look at all of the ads that are being run from the same store so we go and click on ads from the same shop we can see that they've got multiple different ads running and all of their ads are performing fairly well. So you can see this one's performing super well. So I'm just going to turn the sound off on this one. And you can see it's basically the same one. It's just a different color. So they've just sort of changed around the creative, but it's very similar. Now, in order to actually find this, what you can do is with mine, a, I just go to Facebook ads and then from here, from the scene date, all I do is I go to the last 30 days to make sure that it's a recent ad and it's still a popular product. Then you can go to Ecom platform. I like to choose Shopify to find only Shopify stores. I like to go to likes and filter it by at least 750 likes to make sure that the ad is fairly popular. And then if you go to advanced, you can go to media type and I like to look for video ads only. So from doing this, I just was scrolling through 
and that is how I discovered this ad. So like I say, I think shapewear and coreware for men could be an amazing product for you to start your own e-commerce brand around for Q4 especially. Let's have a look at the second product. So this product is a skincare product and it's basically a laser product that allows you to remove your wrinkles. So very similar to the product that I launched, which is my Rinkes removal product. So you can see these have been super popular lately and that is why I jumped on that trend and decided to actually start a brand around this product. Now I found this particular ad using the Pinterest ads tool. So you can see we've got the Pinterest ads copy here. And if we just go and have a look, this is a user generated content ad. So we've just got the woman using it and we've got some captions over the top and she's just talking about how she's removing her wrinkles using this product. If we go and have a look at the stats of the ad, you can see that it's been pinned over a thousand times. That basically just means it's been reshared on the Pinterest platform. And you can also see that it's been saved over a thousand times. So a lot of people are interested in this particular product. Product. you can see that the country that is being targeted the most is the United States and actually it's a 50 50 split almost between men and women because men actually want to remove their wrinkles as well it isn't just women and you can see that this ad has been running for over 300 days so since October last year so that just goes to show that this is definitely a very popular product now if we go to ads from the same shop we can see that they're running multiple different ads so you can see they've got a few different products but they're running multiple different ads all on the P Pinterest platform. So Pinterest ads are quite a lot cheaper than Facebook ads. So That's probably why they're choosing to use the Pinterest platform. Now, if we actually go and have a look at their store, we can see it's extremely well branded. I would say not as well branded as my store, but just on a close on par. And if you're wondering how I created this one product store, I have been using the Sweet Funnels theme, which is the best Shopify theme for one product stores, because all you have to do is click on the buy now and it takes your customers straight to the checkout. They don't need to add to cart or anything like that. So it misses that step so that it causes less friction to increase your conversions. So go and check out the Sweet Funnels theme if you are interested in starting your very own one product store. So like I say, this product is super clean. If we actually go and have a look at shop now, let's see how much they actually are selling it for. And you can see that they're selling it for 129 pounds. Now, if we have a look on Alibaba, this is the exact supplier that I have used for my Rinkas removal device to start my dropshipping e-commerce brand. And you can see here, it's $11. Now with shipping, I paid $25. So you can see that you can have a massive markup on these products. So 129 pounds, that's around $150. So you can have a massive markup and you can see even I'm selling it for 99 pounds. So that is how I've used the Pinterest ads tool. It works very similar to the Facebook ads tool. So if we go to the Pinterest ads, once again, you can filter it by the last 30 days. You can go to the e-com type and choose Shopify. And then you can go to pins and I like to go for minimum 500. So that means it's been repinned 500 times just to make sure that it is a popular product. And then you can go and search through all of these different ads to go and find a product that you might just want to start your very own e-commerce dropshipping brand around. Let's have a look at the next product. And once again, this I found this using the Pinterest ads tool on Mine A. And this is a really cool product. I really like this. This is a home gym device. So once again, it's a really problem solving device. People that don't want to go to, to the gym, maybe they don't have time, maybe they don't have the money, maybe they don't feel confident. So they want to work out at home and this product essentially allows you to do multiple different workouts just with one product. So you can see they've got a really great ad here, this muscular guy using it. And then they've got a few other guys who are not as muscular. So just like your regular type of guy using it. And they've got a mixture of those and a mixture of different workouts that they're doing with this product. So this is a really amazing ad. And once again, they're running this on Pinterest. So you don't always just have to think about using Facebook ads. And that's really the the power of using this mine a tool because it gives you more ideas of running ads on the Pinterest platform on the TikTok platform and moving away from Facebook. So you can see it's been repinned. So shared on Pinterest over a 1000 times 275 saves. If we go down, you can see mostly towards a male audience, as you would imagine, because this is a man using the product. And you can see mostly well, not mostly the majority in the United States, but it's been fairly shared across the uh, across Europe as well. And it's been running since summer last year. So they've been running this ad for a full solid year. So that means they must have been doing pretty well when it comes to sales. Now, if we go to ads from the same shop, we can see that they've got multiple different ads and these are all being run on the Pinterest platform. So once again, you can see, look how many ads they've got with this product. So they are 
they're doing pretty well they're making a fair amount of sales now if we go and have a look at the product itself once again it's a one product store and if we go and have a look really well designed super clean super amazing very similar to my ringcast store and like i say you can use the sweet funnels theme if you do want to create a one product store just like this they're selling it for 99 pounds just for the beginner level now if you go to dropshipping.alibaba.com because sometimes you can't find the product on aliexpress or you can find it on alibaba but sometimes it will say a minimum order quantity is 100 pieces well, if you can't find the product on Aliexpress or on Alibaba, you can go to dropshipping.alibaba.com and this is where you'll find products that you can dropship from Alibaba. So I've just gone and typed in band and bar set under dropshipping.alibaba.com and here we have the product. So if we just click on it, you can dropship it just with a minimum order quantity of one and it's gonna cost you $33. And they're selling it for 99 pounds, which is a, around $120. So they're making a really high markup on this product once again. And when you are researching products, that's what you want to think about. You wanna make a really good profit margin so you have a good amount of budget to actually market the product. So they're making a good $90 per sale on this product. And like I say, super clean, lots of reviews really amazing store so i think you could easily go and replicate this and start your very own one product store around this type of product or something similar a workout product that people can use at home or on the go let's have a look at the next product and with this product i actually used the tiktok ads spy on mine a so i'll show you how to use that in a moment and this is basically so with tiktok it's generally something a little bit more viral, something that stands out, something that's a bit more unique. It doesn't necessarily have to be a problem solver. It's solver. It just has to be something that's a little bit unique and catches people's attention. That's usually what works on TikTok. So we go and have These a look at this particular them. product. This is a tea product. And when you actually put it in your tea, it is ultraviolet. So it's, you can see it's got this sort of fluorescent blue color to it, fluorescent purple. So like I say, it's something that stands out. Now, the actual person speaking over it is just saying that it's super good for you. It helps to reduce aging. It helps to reduce stress. It helps to reduce anxiety. So it has got a lot of benefits behind it, but it's mostly the video and the colors and everything like that, that captures the person person's attention. So we go to ads from the same shop. We can see that they've got loads of different ads on TikTok for this particular tea. Now, if we go and have a look at their actual store, we can see that they're selling it for $18. But with this type of product, because it runs out, you can actually create a subscription around it, which is super amazing. If you can create a product that you, that you can have a subscription around, then that's even better because it means you have to find less customers to make a profit. So if we go and click on subscribe and save, we can see it's gonna cost you 15, 30, and it will deliver every two weeks. Let's say if we want it every four weeks. So people can choose how often they want it delivered. Now, if we go and have a look on Alibaba, you can see that you can get this for 50 cents a bag. Now it's saying minimum 100 bags. So 100 bags times 50, that's gonna cost you uh, $50. And then with shipping and import taxes, it'll probably cost you around two to $300 to get started, the initial investment for 100 bags. But like I say, you can sell these for 15 to $18. That's a massive markup. And I believe that this is probably all organic traffic that they're using here anyway. They're probably not actually even running ads. You can see they're getting 20K views, 8K views. So they're getting so many views, like I say, just because it's a very eye-catching product. So you could easily go and start a very similar brand with this type of fluorescent tea product. And like I say, here it is on Alibaba. You can actually put your logo on the product as well to create a proper e-commerce brand around the product. And this is basically the, the exact one you can see but bohemian blue tea if we go and have a look on it it is basically this the exact product that they are showing here on tiktok now in order to find this using mine a once again you can just go to the tiktok ads tool and then once again you can go to last 30 days you don't always have to go to last 30 days do a bit of experimenting you could go for last 60 days last 90 days the last year and see what products have been popular because things work in cycles something that was maybe was popular in winter last year might be popular again in winter this year so you can go and have a look at what products were popular last year but let's just say for last 30 days once again you can go to e-commerce type shopify and then with the TikTok tool, you can go for likes. So with this one, I like to go for at least a thousand likes because you people get a, a lot of likes on TikTok. So you wanna go for at least a thousand. And then you can, once again, just go and search through all of the ads and all of the videos that have gone viral and see which products are working well on TikTok. So now let's just go and have a look at 
some of the other tools that I want to show you with mine A, and then I'm gonna show you how I discovered the final product. So the final product I want to show you is this Swift Pen. And basically with this product, if we go and have a look at the ad, it allows you to go and clean all of your devices. Oh, this is your sign. Let's put it on silence. It allows you to go and clean all of your devices. So your keyboard, your phone, your headphones, all with one single pen. So this is a really amazing product once again. And as you can see, they have gone and created a one product store around this. So if we go to the homepage, you can see they've just created a simple one product store. Very horrible looking store, by the way. It's poorly designed, I don't like it at all, but they are making sales because their ad is doing well. They're selling it for 22 Canadian dollars. Now, when I've had a look on AliExpress, uh, on Alibaba, sorry, I couldn't find it on AliExpress, we could see that they're getting it for $56, uh, 56 cents. So they're making a good $20 markup on this product. Now, if you can't find a reliable supplier on Alibaba, what you can do is you can just find the product on Alibaba. So let's say, for example, here they're saying one piece is the minimum order quantity, but sometimes they say that, and when you contact the supplier, they say minimum order is a thousand, let's say, and they want you to invest a lot of money up front. But if you don't want to do that, what you can do is you can just go and grab the link and you can go and share it with BS Dropshipping, who are a dropshipping agent that I have used, and they should be able to help you set up your store with a smaller minimum order quantity. And they can also help with things like private labeling your product, printing the logo on your product, getting branded packaging and things like that. So like I say, for this type of product, although it says MOQ is one, it's probably not. Sometimes they do that on Alibaba, but you can always just go and try and contact BS Dropshipping, I will leave their contact details in the description below because they'll help you to go and start your brand with a smaller minimum order quantity. Now, how did I actually find this particular product using Mine A? Well, I'm gonna show you because we have something called Shop Analysis, which is a really powerful tool, once again, that Mine A offers. And basically it allows you to go and analyze a particular store. You can go and see all of the different ads that they're running. So you can see for this particular store, they're only running TikTok ads, but sometimes stores are running ads on Facebook, on Pinterest, and on TikTok, and you can go and have a look at all of their different ads like that. Now, in order to do this, what you can do is, you can just go to shops, and from here, I like to go to technology. Once again, choose the Shopify shops. You can go and filter it out by category, but if you're just having a play around and trying to generate product ideas, then you can simply just go and scroll through, and then you can go and analyze a complete shop. So let's just go and choose one. Let's scroll through until we can find a shop that I think looks fairly interesting. So I have just found this store here called Inverse Hair. So if we just click on this, it's gonna say analyzing the store, and then it will show us all of the ads that this store is running. So you can see it's running three Facebook ads and two Pinterest ads. Now, if we scroll down, you can also go and have a look at the theme that this store is using, and also all of the apps that this store is using. So that's super powerful, because then you can go and add these apps to your store if you want to create a similar store. So you can see they're using a FOMO social proof app, they're using Klaviyo for email marketing, they're using Pixel Pop for pop-ups, they're using stamped.io for product reviews. So like I say, you can go and have a look at the ad apps that particular stores are using, and then you can go and add them to your store if you think they are applicable. And then you can go and have a look at their ads. So if we go and have a look at their Facebook ads, you can see this one is performing really well, 150 shares, 320 likes. And this is a really cool product because if we, if we actually go and have a look at the ad itself, it's called Inverse, and this is ice conditioning for your hair. Now, most hair products add heat or apply heat to your hair, which can be damaging. So I believe this is why they're called Inverse, because they're actually doing the opposite of that by adding cold uh, treatment to your hair, so ice hair repair system. So if we go and have a look, they've got a UGC ad, very cool, very simple. And then if we go and have a look, they are running Pinterest ads as well. Their Pinterest ads are not performing super amazing, but they've just started running them, so I'm sure that they'll go, they'll pop off fairly soon. And if we have, go and have a look, you can see no chemicals, no heat once again, and you can see as seen on TikTok. So I'm pretty sure this product has been pretty popular on TikTok, even though they're not actually running any TikTok ads. And then what you can do is, when you go back to shop analysis, you can actually click on the store and you can go and have a look at their store. So you can see it's beautifully well branded, amazing design, really clean. And you can see that they're just selling that one particular product, selling it for $125. So I believe that's probably got a pretty high markup. I couldn't find the product on AliExpress or on Alibaba, but like I've mentioned, if you can't find the product on AliExpress, 
Aliexpress or on Alibaba, you can always just copy the store and then send it over to BS Dropshipping, which are the dropshipping agent that I have used in the past, and just see if they can find the product for you. Usually they'll be able to source the product with a small minimum order quantity, or they will be able to dropship the product for you. So like I say, if you can't find it, you can always send it to these guys. But I just wanted to go and show you that shop analysis tool because that will help you to generate more product ideas, just like how we've done here with this inverse hair product, which like I say, I believe is going to be a very, very popular product. Now, there is another tool that I do want to show you with mine A, and that is the influencer marketing tool. So this will basically show you all of the promotions and all of the influencer shout outs that particular stores are running. So if we go to promotions and if we just scroll up, we can go and have a look at all of the influencers that are promoting Shopify stores. So if we go to technologies, we can go to Shopify. Let's just go and filter it by countries this time. So we're going to go to USA. Then you've got platforms. So at the moment, it's just Instagram and Snapchat, but I'm sure mine will be adding other platforms to it. And if we scroll down, we can go and have a look at which stores are running influencer shout outs. So if we go and have a look at this one, I believe this is a supplement company. We can go to see stories and we can see this influencer here is promoting this Hilma supplement store. So that comes in handy to go and allow you to see which influencers are running promotions so you could contact them for your own store and also to go and have a look at which products work well for influencer shout outs. Now if we go to brands, you can actually see all of the stores that are running influencer shout outs once again. So if we go to countries, let's just go to the USA. And then if we go to technologies, we can go to Shopify and we can go and have a look. So we can see this one, Dime Beauty, for example, have done 55 shout outs. So if we go and click on the eye icon, then it's just gonna say that it's analyzing the store. Then if we go to placements from influencers, we can go and have a look at all of the influencer placements that they've done throughout the year. So you can see they're going really heavy on influencer placements. You can see they're doing one every couple of days throughout August, August and July. And you can go and have a look at all of these. So for example, if we click on the eye icon here, we can go and see that this particular influencer promoted Dime Beauty and we can go and have a look at the influencer promotion that they created. So you can see she's just doing stories for the product or I believe this is Instagram Reels. So that is how you can go and use this influencer marketing area within Mine A to generate more product ideas but also to discover which products are working well with influencers. Now you can also go and do influencer research as well. So if you click on influencers, you will see all of the influencers that are running promotions on their Instagram and Snapchat. Snapchat pages. So you can see this influencer here, Hillary Off, with 2 million followers. She's done 163 placements in the last 15 days. Now, if you don't have a big budget to afford an influencer with 2 million followers, you can go to followers and let's just say up to 100,000 to find an influencer with a smaller audience. So you can see this influencer here only has 71K followers. She's done eight placements. So we actually go and click on the eye icon. We can see what type of products she is promoting. So if we just go and scroll down, we can see she's promoting this lovies.com, which I believe is a woman's fashion store. So let's say, for example, you have a woman's fashion store. You can use this influencer area to go and find influencers that might promote your store as well. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this lists area. Area. So when you are discovering these ads and these influencer shout outs and these stores, you can go and add them to a list so that you don't lose all of this data that you've been collecting. So for example, if we go and have a look at one of these ads, so let's just go and have a look at this ad here, which is this tea product that I showed you earlier, you can go and click on add to list and you can go and create a list. So let's just say I created a list called one product store and I can go and just click on create list. So then I can go and add this to the list. If we go and have a look at some one of the one of the other ads, so let's say this for example, I can go and click on add this to the list. So this store will get added to the list. Then I can go to my lists and I can click on my one product store list and we can go and see we've got one TikTok ad We've got one shop in here, and then you can go and add your Pinterest ads, your Facebook ads. So that way, let's say you want to create a one product store, you can add all of the data about different one product stores to one particular list. And like I say, that's a really powerful thing that allows you to go and save all of this data. And then what you can do is you can actually go and download these videos. So if you click on this, 
you can go and hit download. Then if you want to go and create a video ad using Billow or Winning Ads Media, instead of writing in the description what type of ad you want created, you can just go and send them this ad and say, just replicate this for me using different footage. So those are five product ideas that you can use to start your very own dropshipping e-commerce brand today. Once again, I will leave a link in the description to mine A so that you can start researching your own products. And if you are curious to find out more about my dropshipping e-commerce brand, Ringcas, then check out the full case study on screen now and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.